G'day gamers, welcome to New by Design. Gonna be doing a video here today on Assassin Creed Odyssey. I'm gonna show you guys how to easily kill the Crocodus Hyena. Alright gamers, so we'll find the Hyena in the Kythera Island here, just at the southern section over here. As my starting point, I'm going to use that fast travel that I was just showing you there. And you'll find it obviously in the area marked just because you can mark these and it'll show you directly where to find them. I'm going to be using my Master Artemis gear as much as I have of it so far just because it has lots of hunter gear and you're going to want to try to make everything hunter spec. For abilities, we'll only need Devastation Shot even though we don't even really need it. It's just one of those that does decent damage and has the ability to set him back or once you hit him, he'll kind of stun him and prevent his charge forward. We're going to go ahead and work our way again from that fast fast travel and we're essentially aiming to go straight for that tree right ahead of me here we're gonna go ahead and run right to it at some point the hyena will start running towards us and charge and at that point you're gonna want to make sure you look at the bottom of the screen with on your map him selected as the target thing because it'll tell you you'll see it's closing the distance there it went down to five meters and once it gets anywhere near 10 you're gonna want to kind of go ahead and start diving forward to avoid his damage you can see here the essentially reason that we came here is because this tree is within the map and we can use it to make the hyena's life a little bit difficult make it a lot easier for us to dodge stuff as you can see you can actually set it up as well which you'll see later on where he actually gets almost not really stuck in the tree but hard to make a decision to kind of get around the tree we'll do a lot of damage here initially once we have our adrenaline loaded but you'll notice that it will start to slow down here and i'll try to dodge everything like i can as fast as i can there you see and i did take a shot there and it's just because i took a shot that i shouldn't have and it caused a delay of getting out of the way again you want to keep sort of kind of close to the tree here and force him to make a decision to either dive at you on the left side of the tree or the right side of the tree and you just kind of do that by staggering your way a little bit over to that side the reason again for that is because it makes the dodge a lot easier to time because it is a little bit difficult with how fast this hyena runs again we're just kind of rinsing and repeating going back and forth and the good thing about this as well is you'll never have yourself doing this method with that opportunity for him to do a triple attack on you which is an instant kill every single time and you'll notice if you're in the open that he will do that essentially he charges at you hits you comes back around hits you super fast from the other side and then again one more time hitting you again really quickly from the other side he'll never do that with this tree because he needs to catch sight on you before he can actually go ahead and re-attack and again that just kind of slows everything down and makes this process a lot easier it does take a little bit longer maybe than some other methods you might want to try but it is a safe way to do it sort of cheesing it without having to bring any uh, bounty hunters in to do the damage for you or tame an animal if you do not have the tame animal ability. Again, you can see I'm just kind of taking my time and aside from that one hit when I wasn't taking my time, this is really smooth and easy and predictable on where he's going to go and how he's going to get there, making it so that you know you're never really putting yourself at risk. Again, we're just about done here right now. We've got one final shot. We'll go ahead and take it, and that is going to kill this monster. Again, just make sure that when you're positioning, you're sort of close to the tree because it kind of forces him to do a dive, and that'll give you a little bit more opportunity to do the damage later. This is where we killed the hyena here, and in this one here, if it's your last one, you're going to notice or your last enemy to kill or last legendary animal, I guess, you'll have to go to a different area right over there, and she's going to be camping right over this campfire. Once you complete it, again, if it's your last one, you'll get, well, either way, you'll get the Master Artemis' hood here, but if it's your last one, every single one of your previous pieces are actually going to level up to your current level, which is a fantastic add. You can see, we've got the Artemis hood here, we're going to put it on, and all these pieces that weren't level 41 before have all now leveled up to our current level of 41, making us able to have a massive amount of damage in the Hunter Pool if we go ahead and equip all that armor. Alright gamers, that's going to be all there is to this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make sure that you guys don't miss out on any of the future assassin creed odyssey content i have coming out and if you guys are struggling with anything in odyssey go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below i'll probably be able to hook you up with a video to help you out all right gamers thanks for watching